guys, what's up? My name's Cut Up Desna and welcome or welcome back to another video. Today is Friday. It's 15 degrees Celsius. And here I'm with my computer just watching YouTube. And I thought that we could have a little cultural weekend together because I spent the whole week trying to figure out what voices I'm going to upload on Sunday because I did not do anything interesting this Sunday and I did not want to do a sit down video. So I was like, okay, what can I do? And I found out that the korean cultural center is actually on a very like main place central in a very central place here so i was like maybe i should go and visit it there is this expo going on about the 60 years of korean immigration and i thought that was super interesting they also have a library they have like um korean courses for you to learn to speak and write in for you to learn korean they also have taekwondo classes they have k-pop dances um dance classes so yeah i thought we could go and explore it together i'm currently reading women race and class by angela davis this might be on another reading vlog so i'm not gonna go too in depth about it i have no idea also when this reading vlog is gonna come out so yes i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if it didn't make sure you give me a thumbs up subscribe down below and let's just get into it but i think i just spent so long studying and i feel like i really need one weekend so i can focus on having fun and not being like oh i kind of had to study math because i think i had a pretty productive week so i just didn't study today three days of leisure it's not gonna hurt anybody and it's gonna be a fun time i also really need to catch up on my readings <laughs> Because as you may have seen in my last vlog, I do not, I was not able to get a lot of reading done. I might be on a reading club after reading 14 books in a month. Today I went to the Korean Cultural Center to see the exposition of the 60 years of Korean immigration to Brazil, which was very interesting. It was too short, I think. <laughs> I was thinking that it was going to be a little bit longer, but that's okay. And I also stopped by at a bookstore and I got two books. It's the Macmillan Collector's Library Edition of Anna Karenina. I've been wanting another edition of Anna Karenina for such a long time and because of course it's my favorite book and I was like I need another edition and I really wanted this one because I think it's so cute, it's so amazing, it's adorable and it's beautiful like look at this. I've been wanting this for such a long time but I only found it for such high pricing because these ones are very expensive and um, I found this for like half of the pri of the lowest pricing that I had found of this book on Amazon and I was like I need to get this. I was also going to get um Mansfield Park, the Macmillan Collector's library of Mansfield Park, but there were at least like four there and this was the last one. And I was actually going to get both of them, but I saw this book, which is a national book. 
as you know, I've been trying to diversify my readings, and I was like, okay, I can either get another edition of Men's with Barb, which I love, but that I know that I'm going to be able to get all of the time, or at least other editions, or I could get a new book for me to read, and I chose Ursula by Mar Maria Firmino de Seis, which is a Brazilian author. It's the first romance written by a Brazilian woman, and she is from... Oh my god. I have no idea, I have no sense of direction, but anyway, she's from North. No, it's not North. Northeast? Northeast. I honestly have no idea what this book is about, but I saw the Brazilian booktuber recommending it to, to on her channel, and I was like, oh, honestly, why not? Let me just read it. And it comes with so many references to authors that analyze this book, that analyze her life and her work, and there are so many incredible authors here that I recognize the names, so yeah, I'm very excited to read this, and I'm very excited to put this on my bookshelf. I don't have any reading updates because I haven't read anything from now on, from yesterday to today, but yeah, I'm planning to do this right now. So it is currently 5.32, I need to upload this video, so I'm going to finish off the vlog now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. I managed to get into page 50 something of Women Race in Class by Angela Davis. It had been such a long while since I read something on feminism, the last book that I read, and the only one to be entirely honest with it, the last full one that I read was Feminism is for Everybody by Bell Hooks so it had been such a long time since I had been in contact with these theories and what I really like about this book is that she of course because of the title Women Race and Class she did not does not only talk about gender dynamics but also includes how social and class relationships and racial dynamics um influence in those which is very interesting she, in the first chapter she talk, she's talking about um how was the social gender dynamics between men and women in slavery times and how enslaved families um coordinated their dynamics and the difference between their dynamics between white families she's now talking about the feminist movement and the 
movement for abolishment of slavery and how these two were connected and how they were intersected and how each other influenced and how they influenced one another so this has been very interesting it's a short book but i'm pretty sure i'm going to be able to get a lot of information from this she also follows marx theory and i can definitely see it in some parts of the book so i'm definitely interested to see what this book is going to be bringing me at the end of it and i'm super excited to continue reading it i hope you guys have a lovely week and i will see you in my next video bye bye